Hi, this is Mr. West, Rossix Moustache, and today I'm providing some analysis and scenes about teenagers' uh, GCSE exam revision, okay? And you can see me out celebrating, and hopefully, when you've got these targets in your head, that'll be you, living the dream, absolute legend like me, celebrating a big victory in the exam. Okay, so what is the message of Source A? Now, there's a couple of things here that I'm really interested in that I think we need to pick out. First of all, we need to think what the message is to start off with. Teenagers need more discipline. Is that a rubber? Okay, that's it, yeah. Let's try again. Uh, okay, teenagers need more discipline is the message. Or is the cartoon is saying that teenagers are violent and out of control? Okay, that's the starting point, and I think that, that is really where you want to begin with this. You want to begin with the main message, okay? What is the message of the cartoon? That is the question, and I worry that if you don't get that in the, at the beginning, what you think the message is, and then you can go on. So it's really important to think, what is the message? Okay, added to that, we can see then that teenagers need more discipline. They've been allowed to get away with violence, which is shown by, and we've got at some point, so we've got a weapon there for violence. Um, and, uh, we've got the idea that the policeman there is helmet on the floor. And is that, what's that? Is that an axe of some description? Some kind of weapon. So we've got the idea of violence. We've also got somebody's feet here, a broken brick and a broken bottle. So it's short and the hammer. So there's lots of things within this source that show the violent nature of it. And like anything else in these exams, you've got to pick out the specifics. There's loads there. All right. Have you been picking out enough specifics from the source or not? Yeah, that's another definite bit of advice I'd be giving. Okay. But also what you need to do is to think about your own knowledge. All right. Now that you can maybe link at Clacton there. Okay, uh, as well in terms of your own knowledge, think about what happened there. And here it says, look, holiday resorts like Clacton, there were others at clashes in places like Margate as well. All right, also look at the top, punish me, question mark, but I'm only a poor suffering victim of an acute attack of boredom. And the kind of message is that actually there's a violence there, but this idea of punishing them? Well, it gives the impression that actually many teenagers didn't get punished during the, um, the 1960s. Okay, we've seen that cartoon where uh, they're administering a medicine and where there was like no punishment, no hard work, no difficult uh, decisions, no beatings. And it should come out like this. So it links to that nicely. All right. Um, a little bit of own knowledge would be nice as well for this. So obviously, what own knowledge have you got? A nice little bit of information about what was involved in the situation on the south coast or maybe about the money that teenagers have and the spare time because and as it says here of the improving economy okay clearly for the top level answer six more than one level three example all right folks on the main message of the post supported by details from the source and put into context or supported by cross-referencing all right so that means then you've got the details in the source and your own knowledge coming in here. Okay, start with the message, then pick out the specifics and say what the source is saying and what can you do know about the things, and then use your own knowledge. And you can see that will give you both sides of level three, which will put you into level four, six out of six. So does source B prove the historian who wrote source C is wrong? Okay, details from the source and your own knowledge to explain the answer. Well, we can see down here that obviously there's two sides to this that we need to think about. So it does, and then it does not. Clearly, that's always what we're trying to do. Okay, it does prove it. It does not. All right, and you're challenging that uh, with knowledge. And we're looking at the, the information, the tone, the exaggeration within the source. Let's have a little bit of a look then at this first point. Source B here, source B looks like it proves historian one, but it cannot be trusted. So what do you know about why it cannot be trusted, all right? Think about the five pound notes slipped into the uh, uh, people's eyes to pose, all right? Think about the fact that the newspapers often told where the violence was going to be to make it happen, or like, you know, kind of making sure that it did happen, yeah? Um, the sus as it says here, it's job to sell newspapers and it makes the events at Clacton seem as dramatic as possible. It uses terms like the wild ones and rampage in there. Now, the wild ones is actually a reference, I think, to that 1953 film with Marlon Brando char his character Johnny, who will rebel against anything. And I think that wild ones gives it that impression, okay? Uh, yeah, 
also you might want to say that a thousand people probably were there, but were they all fighting, drinking, roaring and rampaging? Or were some of them just watching and what's what? Okay, leather jacketed youths and girls attacked people in the streets, turned over parked cars. Again, you might take an issue with this phrase leather jacket because actually that could be a reference to just the, oh, not the mods, I'm having a mare, to just the rockers. Okay, couldn't it? Is that just a reference to the rockers? It could be. And that might well prove to be an issue. Okay, leather jacket. And when we know there were mods there as well. Okay, so you cannot trust source B. So it does not prove the historian wrong. It's one side. And then we can basically go, we've ticked off, it does. But then, it does not prove the historian wrong. It's also in the mark scheme. All right, he's writing in the 2000s uh, with the benefit of hindsight. There were 97 arrests. So what he's saying in here is, is... He's actually picking out the examiner some facts. 500 pounds of a damage, 97 arrests, okay? So clearly to say that um, the uh, that they were just hanging around, uh, hoping to meet some girl, they were bombed and aimless, aimless, rather than crazed with bloodlust. Well, actually, you can say that there was an element of that because... Um, the fact that there was 97 arrests and 500 pounds of damage, okay? Um, but this is serious, but not as serious as Source B makes out, which is definitely true. One poll in 1967, young people said that the most admired their mum and then the Queen, which is hardly revolutionary, okay? Um, so, yeah, it, it does not prove it wrong. Um, it does prove it wrong, um, and it does not, are two sides of it. It does not prove it wrong because it cannot be trusted. But it may prove it wrong because there were more uh, kind of arrests, more damage than is perhaps outlined in that. What I'd look at for both of these sources is exaggeration. Okay, and I would say that both sources are guilty of that. Both sources are guilty of exaggeration. The first source is guilty of exaggerating how bad it was. The second source is perhaps guilty of exaggerating how uh, how kind of it wasn't bad, okay? Um, and therefore, uh, source B does not prove source C is wrong, but perhaps I would finish off with provides a little bit of balance, okay? Because it's they're both too one-sided. That's another phrase you might want to use, okay? One-sided. Yeah, Ooh one-sided all right and they both are all right and that is perhaps it for level five at the bottom there you can see it, it's both sides okay both sources uh more than one level for example so both sides of it okay and evaluating both sources okay not just one they're both exaggerated but you've got to evaluate so you've got to evaluate both as well okay so why was this photograph taken use the source and your own knowledge to explain your answer. Now then, if we go straight down to the seven mark effort here, it says, as level five, but with more than one, detail from the source, contextual knowledge. So right there, when it says source and your knowledge, what is directing you to do is to get the top mark. Because if you do both those things, you're gonna be uh, in a strong position, okay? Why is it that the photograph was taken? Well. It's taken and appeared in a national newspaper. So it's published in a newspaper, okay? And it might have gone with an article like the one we've just seen. Shows young people fighting and causing trouble on the beach. This would have made people buy the newspaper, okay? And that's clearly an aim, all right, to sell papers. All right? And you know as well, to link from that, you actually know or have all knowledge about the event, okay? You know that um, it was linked to the fact that uh, many photos were staged, many photos were uh, done in a way uh, to try and make people out to look like they were out of control, okay? Um, and that links in nicely to the next one, all right? Um, to prove that young people were out of control at this time, all right? So it's not only to sell papers, but it's to prove that young people were out of control, all right? And um, uh, this idea that they didn't know how to behave and they had no respect for society. It was exaggerated. Clearly, we've got this guy here at the... F Oops, I'm moving the whole thing, just a second. Clearly, we've got this guy here at the front, all right? Now, he looks aggressive, Okay, there's some of the used kind of charging in the foreground, maybe here. But on the back, there's just whole areas of um, people just stood. And actually, by the sea, 
This is people just chilling, enjoying the beach. So I think it was taken to focus on this at the front of the source, this aggressive behaviour that we can see happening there. And that's why the source was produced, all right? Again, use your own knowledge. We've got it here. There were 97 arrests and was trouble in Brighton as well. Um, we also know that the £5 note has been peeled off to make that is. It could have gone down just as that youth. Hey, pause there, will you? And look like you're throwing something. All right, here's a five. I'm going to go back up and take the picture. Okay. Uh, and I believe ultimately it was taken to exaggerate, all right, how badly behaved. Exaggerate uh, the behaviour or how badly behaved. Type. It's just going to leave exaggerates a cat appear to, appear to type. Exaggerate how badly behaved young people uh, were, okay, and to sell the newspapers. So this source then, sourcey, are you surprised by this source? Okay, and it talks about a large number of students playing a silent protest against Mr Enoch Powell at Birmingham University. A group will demonstrate wearing black and white armbands and declare tomorrow an anti-racism day. Some students will picket the gates, handing out leaflets. Are you surprised? Well, initially, my answer to this is no, okay? And we've got to start with that, okay? I'm not surprised. Now, the key point is, why are you not surprised, all right? Now, for me, I know there was an, a large amount of protest at this time from people. They were into protesting and challenging authority figures like Mr. Enoch Powell. Okay, um, and they protested about many different issues. Okay, uh, there's some other sources here. Source F saying they went to sit-ins. Source G shows a Leeds University having sit-in because they were the way the university. It was run. Okay, so yeah, that's it. We know that they protested about the bomb. Uh, the atomic bomb, the Vietnam, and many other issues, okay? So to see that students are protesting um, is not surprising. And Enoch Powell, as it says here, was bound to upset students because of his racist views. So it's simple to say no. It really is. That's a simple answer. But then, to get the top marks, what we have to then do is to say yes. I, uh, I am surprised, all right? Now then... Where are we going to go with this? Well, for me, it's about the violent nature, okay? There's certainly an impression that there's violence and out-of-control behaviour, okay? Like the big Vietnam War protest outside the American Embassy where 25,000 people came to violent clashes with police, okay? Many of the protests were violent and out-of-control. Actually, this seems to me to be a very civilised uh, protest, all right? Well-behaved young people getting their message across in a civilised way. And that is a little bit surprising. Look, level five, present both sides of the argument. Reasons why I'm surprised, not surprised. Reasons why I'm not surprised, reasons why I am surprised, seven marks. Love it.